Hello kids, let's start with our geography subject, chapter 11, counter maps and landforms. Let us begin. In standard 5, you have gathered some information about how height and relief are shown on the map. Now carry out the following activity. Take a large or plate shaped potato and other required items as shown above. Observe how a potato appears when seen from the front and when seen from above. Draw an outline of the potato in your notebook. Cut the potato into two parts so that each part has a flat base. Rest the cut half on its flat base and measure its height in millimeters. There, this is a potato hill. The tapering side of the potato is the hill top. Draw two circles each going round the hill, one near the top and the other close to the base. Keep sufficient distance between the circles. The circle near the top will be smaller. Now, slice the potato on these circles. Do not separate the slice. Insert a toothpick or a piece of pointed stick through the slices vertically. Then, next, without removing the toothpick, place the sliced potato on a piece of paper. Moving a pencil along the edge of the lowest slice, draw its outline. It will be nearly circular in shape. After drawing the outline, pull the toothpick upwards. Remove the lowest slice delicately and keep it aside. Repeat the same procedure for the other two slices. Observe the figure that is formed after the exercise is complete. You will note that you have drawn three concentric circles. Can you see? Yes, this is known as potato hill sketch. The counter line interval is what? 30 millimeter. Now, a model of the relief in an area is shown in figure 11.1a given above. Observe it carefully and answer the following question. The first question is, which landforms do you observe in the model? We can see hills, plateaus, plains in this model. Now, Second question is given, which colors have been used on them? You can see green, blue. Now, what they have given? Observe the map given in figure 11.1b and answer the following question. Now, what do you all see in the map? Now, what do we see? It is an counter line map. We can see the altitude of landforms, the slopes of landforms. Next, the second question. What is the general direction of the ranges shown in the map? Answer. The direction of the ranges shown in the map is east to west. Towards which direction is the flat land located in the map? Answer is, it is towards the south direction. The flat land is located in the map. What are the maximum and minimum values of the lines in the map? Answer, the maximum and minimum values of the lines in the map lies between 800 to 600 meters respectively. What do these values indicate? The values indicate us about the height of the places that is above the sea level, the altitude. Next question, do you find any similarities in the map and the model in figure 11.1a? What are those? Yes, we can find the similarities in the map and the model in figure 11.a because in the model it has been shown with the varieties of colors whereas in the counter line map it has shown with the line that is counter line. In counter line map that is 11.1b. The next question, which figure gives us more information and what is that information? Definitely. The more information is given by counter line map that is 11.1b because in that it has been given with the counter line and with the measurement that is the altitude and the height is shown to us which is very fruitful for us. The next question, is there any similarity between this map and sketch map of Potato Hill? Yes, we find similarity between this map and the sketch map of the Potato Hill. Now, while studying different landforms on the surface of the earth, one has to take into consideration various facts of landforms like altitude, relief, slope, direction of slope and the drainage. For this, 
Maps prepared using particular methods are used. These are known as counter maps. These maps help us to understand the above characteristic of the landform. These maps are of immense use to mountaineers, trekkers, soldiers, defense officers, etc. These ma maps prove to be a great use in the planning for a region too. A 3D model is given in figure 11.38. The northern part of the model shows the basin of the rivers Mula Mutha. To its south is the Katraj Devi Ghat range extending from the west to the east. Beyond that, some portion of Karha Basin is seen. Now, observe this model and the map, figure 11.3b, given below it and answer the following question. The first question, in which direction does the Fort Purandar lie? Can you see? Yes, over there it is given north direction down. So, what is opposite to north is south. So, Fort Purandar lie to the south direction. Now, the next question is, what is the direction of flow of the river Karha? So, the direction of flow of the river Karha is west. The next question. In which parts are the hill ranges not observed? The hill ranges are not observed in the eastern parts. The next question is, which part of the map is not seen in the model? Why? The altitude of the place is not shown. The nature and the direction of the slope is also not shown. So this is not seen in the model as mathematically. The next question, in which direction does the altitude of Katraj Devegat range decrease? So the altitude of the Katraj Devegat range decreases from west to east. In which direction are higher hill ranges located? Higher hill ranges are located in the southern part or southern direction. So we have completed with the answers on the questions given for figure 11.3.